and we're off. So there's a guy walking down the road currently with my tank on a pallet and it's so exciting. As you can see, I'm just patiently waiting for this guy to get to the path. And it's arrived and it's out the house and I'm in disbelief, I think, at this point. I've gone to get a Stanley knife to get it opened. This is so much bigger than my tank. Also looking at it like, how the heck are we going to get this in? But we did it. I just want to get it built now. Can I just show? I want to show everyone what it looks like on the box. So, this is it, guys. So excited. Gonna get the cabinet built first and then we'll get the tank in. It's just a really good thing that it's a good day outside, nice and sunny. Okay, so I needed to get the cabinet in first. I then wanted to sit and try and get everything laid out on the carpet. And um, initially when I opened this box, I was panicking because I thought, oh my God, they've sent black and I ordered white. But then further down, I realized that the doors are white and the, the sides are white. So there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> so just a heads up for you guys that do order white Red Sea um, reefers. The inside parts are all black, the internals, and all the externals are white. You also get given some white and black feet, which I didn't realise. Um, so I matched up all the black feet at the time, and then afterwards realised that you actually had the option of also using the white. So um, it doesn't make a massive difference, but it's just to kind of give you a heads up if you would like or prefer to have white feet on show you can um so yeah so at this point i needed a little bit of help just getting it done a little bit faster because i had the kids that were in um well esme was needing to be picked up from school and all the rest of it and i just wanted it to be done quicker so had the cameraman helping me and also um helping me build and then I also realised that we still had the tank outside which needed lifting and in my head I thought gosh that's going to be really heavy and um, when actually when I ended up moving it separately later um, it wasn't too bad the heavier part was probably the cabinet so I got my trusty friend Dave he's known as Savage Dave on Instagram um, oh, wait, to come and help me and um, so he also came to are. lift this tank and just get it inside. It was very helpful having him around the corner that day right, just in case. Um, so <laughs> as you can see, we've got the tank inside the house at this point and I needed it to be put down. Try not to now, get your back I'm actually glad we brought this in because at this point we weren't aware that we didn't have all the pieces we needed to build the cabinet. So all I'd done at this point was get out some of the cabinet pieces and build like half of the amount by the time that Dave arrived. Um, later down the line, I realised that we needed the top of the cabinet, which is what the fish tank sits on. And because the instructions were open, I was looking everywhere for this cabinet top and couldn't find it. Realised that in the front of the instructions, it does say cabinet top is inside the tank or the aquarium box so we had to take everything out of the um, box for the aquarium and then get the cabinet top from the bottom of this box so the fish tank had to sit on my sofa until we had got that out um, there's a crazy amount of screws and dowels that you need to pop into this um, to follow these instructions um, and work your way around. You basically build the cabinet from the back to the top to the bottom and um, that's the way the instructions work. Um, yeah and it went really well. It, we did it in a, a good enough amount of time as well um, but as you can see the fish tank is still sat on the so sofa at this point. 
One thing I will say is that when you are putting the um, feet onto the, each part of the tank bottom, um, you do need to make sure that the washer is in the same place on every single foot so that you are getting the complete balance and level tank. Um, that doesn't mean to say that it will be level because it's all dependent on the floor that you are sitting the tank or aquarium on. Um, so for me, I've realised today that I have a slope on my um, floor. So the tank tilts ever so slightly forward. So I'm going to have to basically loosen the um, washer at the front of all of my um, screws and then tilt it backwards basically um, so it's slightly higher at the front than it is on the bottom but I need to make sure it's completely level with a spirit level before I um, do anything further. So this clip's just a bit of a funny one I was trying to put in the door stopper um, and my little boy Lucas was in and out and in and out trying to play hide and seek with the door um, Obviously, I was constantly saying, can you stop that? Please stop that. And he just kept going. It's a new hiding place. So I've had to put the sump in front of the um, cabinet for now until he, um, until I've got my door um, lock on, which I have got in at the moment, but I didn't want to put them on just yet until the sump and everything's sorted. So, um, yeah, this is me taking everything out of the box for the sump and... Do you know what? I was so impressed by the sump. It's got a refugium um, wall in as well. Uh, it's kind of got everything that you would you would want. Um, for me, I am wanting to change it about a little bit. So this will lead on to the next part of this um, video. Okay guys, so I just wanted to um, finish up this video just showing you what it looks like today. Um, so this is the following day from making the build yesterday. Um, so we have here the full tank setup. Um, like I said, I went for the Vectra S2 um, Ecotech Marine Pump. Um, I've gone for the Nano Biospheres um, Bioballs, as people know them. I've gone for the Titanium Heater, which I've said in a previous video, um, by D&D, the Aquarium Solution, and also their Heating and Cooling Controller. I always have a backup in place, so that's why I've got two of each. Um, then I've gone for the Quantum um, Nios 160 Skimmer and this is the sump area the reason why the sump area is outside of the tank at the moment is because i am wanting to make some adjustments to this sump and um, so i'm wanting to add some vinyl in and i'm potentially wanting to take out this area here and um, because i would like to have a filter roller and um, it's something i'm debating on at the moment so i've not done anything with it just yet and um, i'm going to make a decision this weekend and um decide whether or not I want to take this out or not in this time and um, potentially going to be getting it wet at the weekend um I guess we'll have to wait and see but yeah if you want to follow the journey I'll be popping everything onto YouTube in landscape for you all because I know that is how you would like to view it moving forward and um, so sorry about all the portrait videos previously with my other build that I had of the reefer 200 XL and um, which will be getting broken down and hopefully sold as time goes on um, ready to move everything into this but I am going to do a gradual move so everything um, coral wise will be moved over a couple of weeks um, it won't be straight away so yeah stay with me guys and thank you very much for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe take care Thanks for watching guys and hopefully I'll see you at Finest Fest on the 9th of April.